we're done loading. Uh, we're taking a trip down Highway 7 here. Uh, we're going to be going uh, from Peterborough to Ottawa, Highway 7. It's uh, I call it the gateway to cottage country just because uh, in that corridor there, there's, uh, you know, hundreds and hundreds of small lakes there. Uh, and that's, you know, basically where all the cottagers are. Real nice in the summertime, wintertime, yeah, you know, dead leaves, whatnot. Uh, dead trees, or no leaves. But still nice little drive, a lot of little towns along the way. So we'll see if we can't show you some stuff along the way there, and uh, you can see a little bit of Ontario here. Hey, we're coming into the little town of Norwood, Ontario. First of many little towns along the way. Camera's a little crooked, but I'll uh, fix that later. Can't fix it quite while I'm driving here. If we get stopped, I'll fix it. Like I said, this is uh, pretty much the start of cottage country out here. A lot of little lakes. If anyone has a topographical map and you want to, you know, do between Peterborough and Ottawa, you'll see there's just literally scattered with hundreds of lakes all over the place. So, you know, you end up with a lot of campgrounds, cottages, etc. Uh, they call it, uh, one area there, they call the Land of Lakes or something like that. I don't know. But anyway. Is, uh, summertime this is a heck of a route to be traveling on the weekend just because like I said cottage country it's very busy like on Fridays Saturdays you know Sundays people heading back home this area is more from the people like from Peterborough and Toronto and whatnot area and the further east we go it'll be you know people coming from Ottawa and whatnot so Nice little area, a lot of nice little towns along here. Not very big towns. Some of them with some uh, historical uh, significance as far as this part goes, or this area has been around a very long time. for the big happening town of Norwood, Ontario. Okay, I wasn't paying attention, didn't get the clicker on quick enough. I don't know if you saw it, but we're coming into the big town of Havelock, Ontario. Uh, I have a buddy there that's from this area. He'll probably watch his video. And he'll probably have something to say about it. I'm not sure. But anyways, yeah, big town of Havelock. Don't blink twice because you might miss it. Established 1892. Well, it's been around a little while. That's only what it was established. There were probably settlement here before that of some sort. It's bugging me just looking at it. I'm not going to put any uh, background music or anything like that in here, guys. Uh, you know, we're just going to drive on through each town isn't really long enough. I 
you said at the bottom, if you blink twice, you'll miss it. for the big happening in town of Havelock, Ontario. Now yeah, we're coming by the big, big, no, it's actually a big town for along here. The big town of Marmor. That's what I'm telling you about. I'll have to spell that one out for you. Marmora. been around a while also. Seven is uh, a lot of truck traffic along here. It is a major route between Peterborough and Ottawa. I'll try to make a point this summer to make a do one of the runs coming through here because technically coming back some of our stuff, uh, PC Mahler routes me actually down this way. The reason I don't come this way is because like I said in the summertime there's a lot of cottager traffic so it, it can be slow at times. So sometimes staying on the 401 is quicker but mileage wise it's shorter going this way. We'll have to come through here once in the summer just to show you with all the, the greenness it for the town of Marmor. Caladar here now. This one you really don't want to look away because you will miss it completely. I mean, but it's big enough that they've got the OPP station here. Not that it matters much. Not much for as far as it being a town more of like a, it's not even a town really, it's a, it's a crossroads if you will. You can go to Eganville one way, Napanee the other, Eganville being uh, fairly popular, Napanee also down by the 401. Well, it's more of like a crossroads, the town is more off to the left, can't really see it, not that there's much to it to begin with. Got a Ford dealer. See, you got 
57 kilometers to Ottawa, 77 to Perth. These, these people still want to freaking pass me, even though they know my lane ends. And they just don't want to get caught behind me, I guess. All right, we're just going by Silver Lake here. Uh, good little fishing lake. I think I could somehow show it to you guys. I'm not going to really be able to see much other than the woods here. I just angle the camera a bit. You might catch a glimpse of it here or there. It's nice. Uh, it's not an overly big lake. Once we get around here, there's a little couple sections you'll be able to see it there. Come to an opening. It's got a pretty big island in it. I'd like to own that island and have a nice cabin on that island right there. You're going to see it in a minute. You can see it out there. It's supposed to be a really deep lake. Uh, you're supposed to get some pretty good sized fish in here too. Uh, can't see much because it's all covered in snow and ice, but it is really nice up here in the summertime. Park is just uh, almost straight ahead there on the point. And not much else to see there on the lake. Let me straighten around here. Like I said, real nice area. We got a few little motels here. Right here on the left is the campground. The rates are really good here too. I can't remember what they are, but they weren't very expensive, so I don't know any of you ever plan on taking a trip up this way. I like camping and fishing. Alrighty, we're coming into Perth, Ontario. You're not going to see much of it, unfortunately. Perth is off to the right a little bit. It's a pretty good sized town. Um, pretty important for this entire area. It was a, like a major hub, if you will. Uh, it's an historic town again, but unfortunately I can't show it to you. I'll have to take a Sunday drive one day with the wife. My wife likes coming out here. It's not too, too far from the house. I'll have to show you downtown Perth. And I don't know if you guys like that kind of stuff, but it's an old town. Do a day trip or something. Oh, we'll just run the outside of town here and we'll be through it before you blink three times. Nah, maybe four. Okay, maybe five. Yeah, the Chrysler dealer closed down. I think. Used to be a Chrysler and then it was a camper place. Oh well, don't matter. Oh look, brand new Shoppers Drug Mart. That wasn't here the last time I come through. Used to be a couple old buildings right here on the corner. This is where you turn down to... I think this one, no that's Wilson Street. Yeah, that's the main one you turn down I believe. See, it's got me all screwed up now. I used to remember, yeah, it's the second lights. You turn, I think. Anyway, don't matter much. Yeah, big happening place of Perth, Ontario. It's actually pretty busy in the summertime. Big new uh, Home Depot here. Well, or not 
Home Depot. Home Hardware. Sorry, Home Depot, American. Well, we have them here too, but. Home Hardware. Truly Canadian, as the advertisement says. Yeah, expansion, I'm telling you. Earth is growing. And that's about it. Alrighty, so we're coming into the town of uh, Carlton Place. It's kind of a small city town. Uh, town. Uh, population 9,500. And of course, we're only going to be skirting the outer edge of it here. We won't actually get into Carlton Place. I yeah, don't want to go in there with a big truck anyways. I'm liable to get stuck. So this is the last town before we get to Ottawa. Highway 15 here, crossroad, goes to Smith Falls. Now Smith Falls is a historic town. I'll have to take you guys there one time. For those of you who like, who like to see the scenery. Unique Import Auto. That's new for this area. See, I really haven't been here in a long time. Not that it's exciting, it's an auto dealer. Whoop de whoop de doo, right? So yeah, Carlton Place, another town that's been growing like crazy. It's kinda I won't call it a suburb of Ottawa. It's uh it's just one of those communities that's uh you know a lot of people like to live and then commute into town to work. Yeah, there's a lot going on out here. I mean, they got uh, Walmart out here now, and you know, a bunch of big stores, Home Depot, etc. Stuff they never used to have. Yeah, you know you're a big town when Walmart comes to town, right? Is that how it works, I think? Wow. Well, at any rate, yeah, like I said, we're just going by the edge here. Nothing really big to see or anything. This is going to turn into a uh, four-lane again shortly. So, I just like traveling the two-lane there. It's kind of nice. At any rate, oh, look at that. OPP on the left there. Doing the radar, getting people coming into town a little too fast because this is where the four-lane starts. Anywho, that's it for now. Alright, all you hockey fans. Y'all know that my team is the Ottawa Senators. Even though some of you may not like them. To me, they're my hometown team. Best team in NHL right now for me. Why? Because I'm a hometown fan. Anyways. That right there in front of you is the home of the Ottawa Senators. Plus Bank, Scotia. I don't want to go put the French one there. But anyway, Scotia Bank Place. Home of the Ottawa Senators. Yep. Sens Nation. There's a sign. Da, 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 da. I know, excitement. 